How's it going guys? Today the December edition of the Geek Gear Wizarding Bots finally came. Uh, it took a really really long time so I'm happy it finally got here. Uh, I already know what's in the bots because my bots took so long to get here that I think like in the first half of the month I just couldn't take the weight anymore so I actually went online and saw the other videos about the bots, but uh, I'm really happy. I think that uh, Geek Gear did a much better job on this bots than last month, so let's go ahead and take a look and uh, go review the bots. Alright, so here is the t-shirt. And I actually really like the design of this one. I think it's rather cool, unique, and it looks very magical. So here is our t-shirt design. That is a very cool symbol. You can see the Hogwarts house animals with some keys and lightning bolts. That's a stag in the mi very middle there. And then on the outside we see the uh, Try Wizard Cup, the Sorting Hat, and more lightning bolts. Yeah, so that's a really neat pattern. Really like that. It's a good representation of Harry Potter in a very subtle kind of way. Okay, and the next thing that we got in this box is we have this Niffler keychain. Which is very cute. And then next, we have this uh, box. And it looks like the night bus. That looks like the night bus ticket. You know, you could actually, like, cut this part out and, like, use it as a ticket if you wanted to. And then, in the bots, was our very own shrunken head, which is kind of creepy, but also very cool. I think this is really neat. I like this concept. Uh, I think that this would be a great accent, you know, around the house somewhere, and I think it would be uh, cool if he talked, but wow, he looks really realistic, doesn't it? So there's that. I really love how uh, Geek Gear's been putting props in the bots. I think that's been very cool. I hope they keep on doing that because those have been some of my favorite items in the bots. Next thing in the box is we have a poster, which I really love. I hope I can find room to put it. So, this is a poster of all the magical creatures, and they are coming out of Newt's Commander's suitcase. It's supposed to be signed by some artist right there, but I've never heard of them before. And like I said, I really love this poster, so I think that's really neat. And then uh, Geek Gear sent us a New Year's card, which was really cool. Wishing everyone a nice New Year's. You can read that if you like. That was kind of them. And then we have our final two recipes for our cookbook. Custard creams and butterscotch cupcakes. So these two are the last ones, as I said. Our cookbook is all done now, which is really neat. So 
seems to me they had more uh, sweet stuff in that cookbook than, you know, like dinners and breakfast and stuff, which I think it's cool. I like sweets, although it's not very good if you're diabetic or anything like that, so... And then before, we got a wand in the spots before I show you that, I'll go ahead and show you the print. And this is a uh, tribute to the Tri Wizard competition. When Harry and Cedric both took the cup together. And you can see Voldemort in the cup. That's really cool. Love that print. And then, of course, we are going to move on to our wand. Uh, they have a brand new wand company. Noble Wands. Okay, so... Uh, here's the, uh, little tag. It tells you about the wand and what it's made out of. And the wand looks like, if I can get it out. Alright, so there's our wand which is just beautiful. A friend of mine pointed out that it actually looks more like a fairy wand than a wizard's wand, which is actually kind of true. I think it's very nice. The only other wand I've liked as much as this one is the uh, one we got in September, I think. It was the design and wand competition. I really like that one too. And, um, yeah, I think that's cool. I'm interested. Uh, this Noble Wand Company, this is actually a subscription, they claim. And, uh, I definitely would be interested in that. I love wands. I think they're kind of cool to collect. And, uh, yeah, the fact that they're uniquely made, you know, they're not... They're not just for, uh, specific characters. They're just made uniquely. I think that's really intriguing, so... Yeah. Alright, so here's the end of the video. We're gonna take a look at the book. The next month's hint is a picture of Hedwig with the Hogwarts letter. And here's our items. So it looks like you had a choice between two different prints. Um, you could have either got uh, the one with the cup or the one of Hogwarts. I'm really happy I got the uh, mine because the other one isn't bad, but I'm not sure the pink would be, uh, I don't know. I don't think Hogwarts should be represented in pink, not really. It doesn't seem to fit. There's the wand. So, like I said at the beginning, I think that Geek Gear did a really good job with this box. It was way better than last month's. Um, out of five stars, I go ahead and give them a full five. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited for next month's. Uh, thank you for watching with me, and hope you guys have a good night.